today's video, I'm going to be sharing some ideas to create simple Christmas vignettes and ideas for decorating dobles. Be sure to stick around to the end where I share a simple DIY project that only cost me $10 to make. Now let's get cozy and get right to the decorating. For this first look for my dough bowl, I am using all leftover things that I had from decorating my Christmas tree. So these little picks that I'm putting in the dough bowl first are from Walmart and they're actually things that you can put on napkins if you wanted to. So they were only a couple dollars so I grabbed a bunch of those and didn't end up needing them. So I decided to put them in the dough bowl here and then the rest of what I'm using here are leftover items from my Christmas tree. The little Christmas tree shaped ornaments are from Hobby Lobby and that garland that I am stringing through the dough bowl is from Walmart and that just adds a nice layer of texture and warmth to the bowl. Stay tuned until later where I show you a second look for this dough bowl. going to get into creating a vignette and a vignette is just a decorative grouping of things that is pleasing to look at. When creating these I really like to work with groups of three or odd numbers as it's more pleasing to the eye to look at. So here I'm just adding some Christmas trees in the background of some varying heights and then I'm going to add actually one of my favorite books here which is the cozy white cottage just as a layering piece and then I'm just going to continue continue to build from there. I'm going to add this cute little napkin that has the word Mary on it and then I'm just going to continue working and layering in some other pieces. Finishing the look here with this holiday candle from TJ Maxx that smells so good and the cute little cozy sign that brings it all together. Thanks for sticking around to this part in the video. As promised, here is a second look or a second idea for filling the dough bowl. I really love the look of these picks uh, with the oranges and the berries. I think it adds such a really nice warm holiday touch uh, in my kitchen and I actually found these on clearance at Michael's they were 70% off so this was a really affordable option for filling the dough bowl and it's really easy to the picks I'm now going to add this cute little sleigh bell garland that I found 70% off as well at Joann's which I think also adds just a charming little touch to the dough bowl This little DIY project only cost me $10 to make. The only thing that I purchased were the jars from Walmart. Everything else was leftover decor that I am using to fill them. That little house is actually an ornament that I just cut the string off of. I'm using bottle bus trees to add just a little more coziness to the look. Whoops, so this didn't quite fit, but with a little bit of Christmas magic, I was able to get the truck to fit in the jar. So to finish off the look and add just a little bit more charm and coziness, I added some velvet red ribbon and then some pine cones to the top of the jars. Mm -hmm. 
one last little quick bonus look here. I actually grabbed this little white house from my Christmas village and just added a little bottle bus tree and some pine cones. And this ended up being my favorite jar that I did. Thanks so much for spending time with me today. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content. Have a merry and cozy Christmas.